Spoiler alert, instantaneous SERP tracking. That's what this video is about. Getting extensive keyword ranking history for a domain's organic keywords is awesome. And SpyFu has the largest database in the industry to gather all this data from. Because of this, we can provide you an absurd amount of data freakishly fast. Any domain you want to look up, bam, it's there instantly. Any keyword on that domain, blammo, there you go. Multiple keywords, no problem. Multiple domains for a keyword, we've got you covered. In my opinion, it's the easiest, most intuitive piece of software we've ever invented. Now, in a lot of these tutorials, we talk about different retail websites. Websites that advertise products and sell physical items to consumers. But what about websites that are purely content-driven, that don't buy any ads but instead make revenue by selling ad space on their site? Websites like TheOnion.com. The Onion is a parody news source that has been around roughly since the dawn of time. A lot of their keywords are based around the titles of the content that they created, whether it's an article or a video piece. So their keywords and fluctuation in ranks are really interesting to observe. When you type in theonion.com into SpyFu, you can see that they aren't running any ads, but they do have a pretty formidable organic presence with 12,500 keywords in the top 50 range. I'm going to click on View More to get a full list of them. America's Finest News Source is their slogan, but they also have a ton of keywords in the number one spot. I'm going to filter this a little bit by typing in fake news. That's a good keyword for the onion. And there it is. So I'm going to click on view history, and it brings us to the historical SERP page. And there we go. A simple layout on how the onion.com has ranked on the keyword fake news over the last year. If you want to see a longer time frame, you can click on the two-year or even five-year buttons and get a huge spread. The Onion, in general, has had a lot of success ranking highly on fake news. It looks like over the last five years, it's maintained a spot in the top ten. Its last recorded rank was last month at position four. And when we click on the historical SERP cache, we can see the actual screenshot. So let's get into some fun stuff. I'm going to add a domain to this chart, the Daily Show. Dot com. And we can see that The Daily Show hasn't had as much success on this keyword as The Onion has. It seems as though Google's algorithm updates, like Panda and Penguin, really shot them in the foot on this keyword. Also, every time that there was a search quality update, The Daily Show's website was knocked down in the ranks. Sometimes this happens, well, organically. With new updates, you can't always expect your ranks to stay consistent. But sometimes, Google does this manually. A good example of this would be the JCPenney SEO scandal of 2011. This is what their rankings look like before Google found out on normal keywords like bedding, dresses, and furniture. But once Google found out that JCPenney was using less than pristine practices, they manually penalized JCPenney.com. Hard. And it seems as though they've had a tough time recovering from this. It could be that Google is still manually pushing them down in the ranks, even after a year has passed. Or this could just be happening organically. Or they could still be doing black hat stuff. In any case, for anyone who is in the business of buying domains, this is a good thing to keep your eye on. From an organic perspective, jcpenny.com is not nearly as valuable as it once was. And it's quite possible that Google is still stomping on them. This could be a great leverage point for anyone considering buying this domain. And this applies to all domains, big and small. So if you're in that business, this is a great tool to use to grasp a domain's current value. For thedailyshow.com on fake news, this could have been a manual drop in ranks, or simply the algorithm favoring or disfavoring the Daily Show on on that particular keyword. Stephen Colbert's ColbertNation.com doesn't even rank on this keyword anywhere in the top 50. Just for funsies, let's try FoxNews.com. Oh snap! They ranked 29th on June 2011, and it looks like they ranked on it for a couple months in a row. How about the much more reputable CNN.com? Wow, it looks like they've been ranking on fake news almost as much as The Daily Show. Looks like I'm going to have to get my CNN tattoo removed. Just for fun, let's throw Snopes.com in there, which more or less disproves or verifies anything you hear on these channels anyway. And sure enough, it looks like they used to rank pretty well on fake news. But it looks like March's quality update struck them down a bit, as well as the Penguin update. If you want even more details about what was happening in the world of Google during this spread, you can check the boxes for both freshness updates and when they rolled out a new feature, like 
the plus one button. This is a really great starting point to find the story behind a domain, its keywords, its relationship with Google, and their updates. When your clients' keywords mysteriously drop in ranks, it's good to have an explanation to give them. When looking at it in this format, we begin to understand why they may have fallen out of Google's favor. And for SEOs, this is a great way to figure out how to make adjustments to your campaign so you can climb up the ranks again. All right, so this is getting really messy. I'm going to hide the domains from the chart and completely delete Colbert Nation because it's not even on here in the first place. Now let's put in some keywords for the onion, like news, news parody. How about just the word onion? And you can see that they've been ranking pretty well on these keywords overall. But the fun thing is that the onion has a lot of different articles and reports with kind of quirky keywords that they now rank on, including online dating, shark attack, Bill Nye the science guy, and other more colorful words like Mother, mother, what the is Google Plus? And Taco Bell. You can enter these words as well as as many more as you want and get the organic keyword ranking history of them all. You can hide or show any of them at any time, meaning you can group similar keywords together to see how your domain has been performing on them as a whole. So play around with this and learn more about your client's domains and keywords and how they've evolved over time. Use that knowledge to form a story of a domain's past and your plan for its future. Thank you for watching.